Good evening. So we're back and tonight we're making mint chocolate chip ice cream. Now this recipe I just got off the um, internet and I'm a little concerned because it had just skim milk instead of using whole milk. And as you can see, it's a lot, um, it's not nearly as thick as the vanilla I made last night. Um, so I think I may do it again and go ahead and do it with a, um, with a whole milk. I think that would make a difference. But um, anyhow, this is a mint chocolate chip ice cream. I opted not to add the green food coloring but there's some things that I did with this that I wanted to just kind of give you guys tips on. So um, I'm going to go ahead and let it finish its 15 seconds. Um, as you can see, there's chocolate chips in there. Um, it, the instructions said mini chocolate chips. I couldn't find those, so I used my food chopper. And I chopped up the dark chocolate Ghirardelli chocolate chips that I have. Um, oh, awesome. So let's check this out. Let me go ahead and turn this around. Okay, and so hopefully you guys can see the ice cream maker here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off, and then I'm gonna go ahead and lift my beater out here. And yeah, this is a lot. Again, I really like hard serve, so this is gonna be pretty soft serve, but it smells fabulous. Oh, I don't want you to have to see my arm noticed that last night but it smells fabulous so it's really soft serve so we're gonna have to put it in the freezer um, and I'll go ahead and take the um, beater off here and plug this we're gonna plug it first okay so sorry about that you didn't get to see a whole lot so it's not really it's more just goopy so I am gonna put this in the batter bowl here and then I'm going to put it in the freezer and we'll freeze it for um, a while and see what we get but uh, anyhow to, what I was going to tell you is as you can see there's chunks in here of chocolate chips now when you're adding those um, additives whether it be a candy bar chopped up or um, whatever it might be you want to go ahead and add those about 10 minutes five to ten minutes it depends on the recipe before the end of the churning you really want it to be pretty solid before you're adding that into your um, ice cream maker so um, so a couple of tips make sure you're using that high fat cream the heavy whipping cream I did use that but instead of whole milk we used um, skim milk and I think it would have been a whole lot better if we used um, the whole milk so just note to self there it does make a difference if you have the um, the heavy or the fatter um, I, and also I think it would be this looks very very icy I think that it would be a lot smoother so just a couple of tips there um, I'll be trying out more um, more ice cream flavors and different things like that and then tonight we're gonna make spoons um, with the uh, spoon maker so I already made chocolate spoons last night by just simply heating a cup of Ghirardelli chocolate chips I like dark chocolate um, in the micro cooker and then for about one minute and I just stirred it um, and and then it took about a minute 30 then another 30 seconds and just kind of stirred it you got to be really careful because you don't want to burn your chocolate and um, then I just poured it in the molds and I um, put it in the refrigerator and it hardened overnight and they're so cute but I told you that I was gonna try um, cookies we actually I was gonna try uh, sugar cookie spoons but Joshua decided that we needed to try chocolate chip cookie uh, spoons so <laughs> that's what we're gonna try so um, I will post on that and show you that um, in a little bit and then I will show you this ice cream when it's had a chance to set up um, but this is mint chocolate chip I just chose not to put the green food coloring in and oh and let's taste it and see how it tastes give me a second I forgot a spoon so um, so let's taste here see what we got Oh, it's going to be awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so I will show you this in a little bit. And um, 
I'll be back to show you how to make the spoons too. So we'll see you soon. Bye.